Hello, welcome back to the FTMR of the week. My name is Sam and I run Kingdom Currency. We're going to go over some sales that have been going off in the last 90 days within the market of paper money. Most of these are going to be fancy serial numbers, but I have a couple of others pulled up as well. Let's get right into it. So right off the bat, we have an auction from Ronald J.H. This is a binary note, but it's also a flipper. Flippers are notes that can be read both upside down and right side up. So if you were to turn this over, these nines would become sixes and it would still be readable. Flippers do add value to the note. This note only managed to get $16.30 via auction. I would have priced this for more buy it now style if it was me. $16.30, you know, if you found it out in the wild, that's not a bad flip. Next up, we have a true binary note. This is a pretty pretty nice orientation. There are two sets of four of a kind. It's nearly a double quad. If this would have been a double quad, this thing would have really shot up in value. But this seller decided to do $90 buy it now. This is exactly how I would have done it. Now this note is not uncirculated as you can see. I would say that $90 is a pretty fair price. I personally probably would have jumped up to $99.99 making it $100. $90 you really can't complain there, especially if you found this note out in the wild. I would say that's a pretty solid price for true binaries. Next up, we have another binary flipper. This one is from Ronald J.H. This time it has a five of a kind sixes within the serial number. $21.50 with seven bids. Again, you know, I'm not really for auctions. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. I prefer to do the buy it now just because buy it nows work better in my opinion. But $21.50, not bad. The buyer is paying for the shipping here, but what I would have done if I was gonna let it go for around this price, I would have just done buy it now and do $19.99 because with $19.99, you're able to ship the note out for the 63 cents eBay standard shipping label. So you would actually save a bit of money there if you would have just done $19.99 buy it now. So this is a really nice sale. Seven in a row serial numbers are very rare. I believe there's less than a hundred. Not quite sure off the top of my head. I know it's around a hundred examples per run. That's very, very rare. $115 is a very solid sale. This is one of those auctions that I can actually respect. If I would have had this note in my hands, I probably would have done like 115 buy it now, 125 buy it now with free shipping. So this was a pretty good sale. Seven in a row sixes. Six is not one of the best numbers either. The more coveted numbers would be sevens, eights, and zeros. If this was a trailing zeros, this would have been a multi-millionaire note, and this thing could have gone for hundreds more, potentially even into the thousands. On Heritage, you can find examples of multi-millionaire notes selling for up to 25 dollars but again solid sale for sure this is a repeater note on a five dollar bill 36 26 36 26 there are some alternator sixes kind of going throughout the note pretty nice serial number this was a fifty dollar buy it now sale with five dollars and five cents paid for shipping a lot of fives there great sale repeaters sometimes they don't really get as high of prices as binaries and radars do so fifty dollars that's pretty good i would be very happy with that sale if this was my note now, this is one of my sales. I had it listed for 70. This is a low serial number with five leading zeros, $5 bill. This is serial number 426. Somebody sent me a best offer for $40 and I countered back $55. So this is a $55 sale. Okay, this is a $2 radar. Twos and ones seem to be the best denominations to be selling. This note is crisp. People really like collectible serial numbers on $2 bills. This was an auction. This got $90. $90.89 for one ungraded raw bill. That is absolutely outstanding. I would say that the top of the market for an ungraded radar, this is pretty much it. I would say $100 is the top. Great sale. This is a really, really nice looking note. The centering doesn't seem to be too bad. I mean, you can tell that on the left, it's a bit more, there's a bit more margin than on the right. Amazing sale for sure. Next up, we have another true binary. So this was a $110 sale. Only 256 true binaries per run. So they are quite hard to find. That's pretty rare. 256. If, if you've been bill searching for any long amount of time, you'll know that these are not easy to pull. $110, buy it now. That's pretty good. Now this note seems to be crisp. Because it's crisp, if it was me, I probably would have done $150, but $110, you absolutely cannot complain. Okay. This is not necessarily a fancy serial number, but these are really important to talk about. There is an entire market out there for pair serial numbers. If you can pair up your serial numbers, the values can jump tremendously. So these are two star notes. They 
do not appear to be sheet notes. And in fact, I can tell you for certain actually that they are not sheet notes. They have the exact same serial number though. And they are from the same district. Somebody was willing to pay $305.25 plus $25 shipping for these two notes. Paired notes are crazy hard to find, especially whenever they're not fancy serial numbers. So I have something called the fancy serial number master list, which ranks every single serial number that there is. It's something that I use quite often when I am listing stuff on eBay. So that fancy serial number master list is a Patreon exclusive list. So if you want access to it, all you need to do is join the Patreon group, which I will have a little talk at the end. If you guys are interested, definitely stick around to hear that. But what I'm saying is, the serial numbers at the top of the list are really easy to pair up. For example, a ladder, which is the rarest serial number that there is, for modern $1 bills, there's only five ladders per run. The reason being is because these serial numbers only go up to 96 million. And so your ladders are going to be 0 to 1 ascending, 1 to 7 ascending, and then 2 to 9 ascending, and then reverse. Now, you can't have 9 to 2 descending because we only go up to 96 million notes per run. So there is no 9, 8 for notes that are going to be out in circulation. The BEP does print extra notes, but those are reserved for the novelty sheets that they sell in the gift shop. So there's only five serial numbers per run. So it's not necessarily difficult to pair up those serial numbers. The only difficulty you're going to have is forking over the money to pay for those serial numbers. The fancy serial number master list can be turned upside down. And basically, the notes at the bottom of the list become the hardest notes to pair up whenever it comes to matching serial numbers. There's a whole market out there, and I could talk a lot about pairing serial numbers. But what I'm saying is these serials are not very fancy. So the fact that he was able to pair them up is quite a feat. They are from the same district. If they weren't from the same district, I would see maybe 60, 70, 80 bucks in value. But since they are from the same district, he was able to get $305.25. If you can pair your serial numbers up, that is a great way to make some extra money. Okay, so this is an amazing sale. You guys might have seen my video that I put out. I think it was like last week or two weeks ago on duplicate B-series star notes. If you guys haven't watch it i'm gonna leave a link in the description below i really recommend you guys go watch that this note this is a duplicate b from fort worth this sold for 115 dollars if you guys remember in that last video i was telling you that the value range for circulated notes is 80 to 125 and for uncirculated fort worth notes it's 300 and for uncirculated dc notes it's 400 i have in my other video a lot more sales showcasing those numbers but this was an excellent sale this is not me that sold this one too $115 for these notes. It really sheds light on just how crazy the market is for these notes right now. So this one was $115. And here we have another duplicate. This was a DC print, 0582029.5. This one, as you can see, is in pretty rough condition. This one managed to bring in $175 plus $13 shipping. That is outstanding. It just shows how rare the DC notes are. Because if you guys don't know anything about this error, basically what happened was in 2014, they printed these B star notes. And then about three or four years later, they printed the same batch of star notes, but at the Fort Worth facility. So there's people that are trying to make pairs together. And if you do find a pair, it can be sold for quite a lot of money. I also went over that in the previous video. So I strongly recommend that you guys check that video out. Something else that the Patreon group offers, we actually have an exclusive 2013 B star note database that is only reserved for the Patreon members. It's one of the newest additions to this group. We actually have Carol Winograd himself. He came on and he is helping us with our own 2013 B database. We already have over 8,500 notes in that database. So if you want to participate in entering your notes and making pairs, then you need to join the Kingdom Currency Patreon group. Every day we are adding more and more value to this group. So if you guys didn't know, I run a group that teaches people how to sell their money on eBay for the most amount of profit. This group has really been growing and changing in ways that I didn't expect, but I am very, very appreciative of. First off, like I was just talking about, we now have our own 2013 B star note database that has over 8,500 star notes in it, and that number is only going to grow. If you want to participate in that, all you need to do is join the group and send me your notes. I have some videos on how to send them to me, and I will enter those notes in. The main focus of the group is really to teach you how to use 
eBay and how to understand which notes are valuable and how much they're worth. First and foremost, we have Zoom calls every weekday. These calls all have different topics and they're all geared towards equipping you with knowledge to list and sell and ship your paper money for the best possible prices. We have a Facebook group that acts as a forum where you can post your finds and get connected with similar like-minded individuals about what it is you've been doing in the numismatic world. In the Facebook group, we also have the live coin Q&A crew that has offered up their services to Patreon members. If you have any kind of coin question, you can post them in that group and you will be able to get responses from them. Also, we have discount on merchandise. I am getting ready to come out with a brand new bill searching mat that is actually going to be up for sale next week. You guys are really going to want to keep an eye out on that because with that mat, we are going to be doing something amazing. Once a month, we are going to be doing something called Bill Hunt Battles. I am super excited to be talking about this and sharing it with you guys. Now, this is only for Patreon members, but if you have a map, we are going to be doing live bill hunting in our Zoom room, and it's going to basically be a tournament. We're going to have a whole bunch of different kinds of fancy serial numbers and categories of stuff that you're going to be looking for while you're bill searching, and at the end of the competition, whoever wins is going to be receiving a prize, and once a month, we're going to be having these tournaments. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be teaching you how to bill search quick and effectively, and it's really going to show you the values of what this stuff is worth. So if you want to be participating in that, you need to join the Patreon group. Right now, we have an exclusive offer limited to the first 100 people only. If you join right now and you're one of those first 100 people, you are going to get 33% off any tier that you choose to join with. Also, if you're in the group, you will get discounts on all merchandise that I'm selling. So that includes the bill searching mats and any other merchandise that comes out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you